Good day. Welcome to Jiggy Math. This is your primary math teacher, Miss Darlene. Today, we're going to work on whole numbers. Specifically, we'll explore how to multiply numbers by 10, 100, 1000, and their multiples. In this lesson, students will realize that numbers can be multiplied by 10, 100, and 1000, and their multiples by using some patterns. To begin with, let's take a look at this interesting animal number facts. An elephant eats about 200 kilograms of food each day. Elephants spend at least 16 hours per day eating. Can you calculate the estimated amount of food they eat in a week? How about in a month? By knowing some patterns, we can easily do this even without using a paper and pen for calculation. How? Let's first explore the next problem. A lobster has 10 legs. If there are 10 lobsters in a container, how many lobster legs are there in all? In this problem, we can say that 10 lobsters with 10 legs is equal to 10 tens. So it's the same as 10 times 10. So therefore, there are 100 lobster legs in all. Now, let's say there are 100 lobsters this time. So if we multiply 100 by 10, what do we get? It's the same as 10 hundreds or equal to 100 times 10 is equal to 1,000. Now let's take a look at this one. If we multiply 1,000 by 10, what do we get? Yes, it's the same as 10 thousands or 1,000 times 10 is equal to 10,000. Do you see a pattern now? So when multiplying numbers by 10, we simply retain the given number and append one zero at the end. So in this example, 100 times 10, we retain 100 and added one zero here. The same thing goes here. We copied 1,000 and appended 10 at the end. Now, numbers can also be multiplied by 10 easily by looking at the value of each digit. So for example, 321 times 10, it's the same as multiplying three hundreds by 10, two tens by 10, one by 10. So the product would be 3,200 and one ten. Simplifying this is like 321 times 10, it's equal to 3,200. And 10. There's another way of multiplying a number by 10. We do this by using the place value chart like this. So if we want to multiply 61 times 10, we simply move each digit one place to the left like this. So from six tens, it will be moved to six hundreds, one ten, and then the last process would be adding a zero at the end. So 61 times 10 is equal to 610. Remember, when a number is multiplied by 10, each digit moves one place to the left, and a zero is added in the ones place. Let's take a look at another example. Suppose you want to get the value of 138 by 10. 
So moving each digit one place to the left, it will look like this. And then lastly, we add one zero in the ones place. So 138 times 10 is equal to 1,380. Now, what about multiplying numbers by a, mu a multiple of 10? For example, 42 times 40. This can be done by breaking the numbers apart. So, it's the same as 42 times 4 times 10. This is how we broke down 40 by writing 4 times 10. So the next step would be multiplying 42 times 4. It will be equal to 168 and then multiply it again by 10. The final answer would be 1,680. Second example, 137 times 30. Again, let's break this number apart by writing 3 times 10. So getting the product of these two numbers would be 411 times 10. The final answer is... 4,110. Next example. Let's get the product of 282 times 60. Again, we'll use the same strategy. You break the number apart to help you multiply by tens. So here, we'll write 282 times 6 times 10. And then, get the product of this two numbers and multiply it by 10 and the answer would be 16,920. Lastly, let's multiply 3,052 by 20. So breaking down 20, it will be com 2 times 10. So let's get a product of these two numbers. We'll have 6,104 times 10, and the answer is 61,040. Now, let's do the shorter way. So if we want to get the product of these two numbers, 55 times 70, first, you may just simply disregard the zero first and focus on multiplying 55 by 7 and then append the zero at the end. So 55 times 70 would be 3,850. Next example, disregard the zero first, multiply 100 times 9, and then you will get 654 plus 0 would be 6540. And the last example is the same um, procedure like the, um, what we did here. If we want to multiply a number by 100, we can use the same strategy by using the place value chart. But this time, we are going to move each digit two places to the left. So when a number is multiplied by 100, each digit in the number moves two places to the left and two zeros are added in the ones and tens place. So here, from this place value, it will be moved here. So it will look like this. So the product of 538 and 100 is equal to 53,800. 
So the same step will be used if we want to multiply 206 by 1000. So here, this time, we are going to move each digit in the number three places to the left. And then, three zeros are added in the ones, tens, and hundreds places. So the final answer would be 206,000. Now, let's do the shorter way of multiplying the numbers by a hundred and a thousand. First one, 361 times 100 is 36,100. If you notice, we retain the given number and appended two zeros, since we have two zeros here. Next. 8,102 multiplied by 100 will give you 810,200. Third example, 637 times 1,000, we retain 637 and append three zeros at the end. So the final answer would be 637,000. And the last one. 1,124 times 1,000 will give us 1,124,000. So to multiply a number by 100 or 1,000, add zeros at the end of the number. This one, try to answer this on your own. Remember the strategy that we used before? You can break the numbers apart to help you multiply by 1,000. Did you get the same answer as mine? Try answering the second example. 1,022 times 7,000. Again, don't forget to break this number apart by writing 7 times 1,000, get the product of the first two numbers, you will get this number, multiply this by 1,000, and it will give you 7,154,000. Now, do the shorter way of multiplying these numbers. Disregard the two zeros first and focus on multiplying 822 times 7 and then append the two zeros at the end. Next one, 795 times 400. So if you get the product of 795 and 4, it's actually 3,180. And then we add two zeros at the end. So therefore, the final answer would be 318,000. And lastly, we have 2,037 times 2,000. It will give us 4 million and 74,000. So remember, you can break numbers apart to help you multiply by hundreds or thousands. That concludes our lesson for today. And we, we can sum it up by knowing that numbers can be multiplied by 10, 100, and 1,000 and their multiples by using patterns. Thank you and have a good day.